So one of the things I want to do is kind of go over why is our video series uh, resonating? You know, why did the whiteboard series last month resonate? You know, when we started the video series last month, I mean, essentially, Zach, what you asked me to do was sell. You know, you basically said, get up in front of the whiteboard and do what you do when you speak to board members. When you go in front of large organizations and you're pitching why they should do this, do it the way you do it. So anyone who watched the whiteboard series last month, they got an inside look into how I sell digital solutions to large Fortune 500 and Global 100 companies. You're seeing exactly how I have sold these solutions over the last five or six years. There's no, no secret sauce. I'm showing you, you know, and there are people who have asked me, why do you do this? Why do you share what in their mind is the stuff that makes me money, right? And the answer to that question is because I grew up in a trailer park in upstate New York. I was a smart kid in a very poor home and I lived in a great community in the 80s watching manufacturing jobs leave. And I'm gonna be, me Walker is going to be successful in anything I do. I've always been successful. My passion, my brain, my learning curve is short. I can do anything. I mean, if I want to, I can literally do anything. So no matter what, I'm gonna be financially stable the rest of my life. But there are a lot of Americans who are not. There are a lot of Americans who come out of high school and they maybe spend a couple of years in college College, maybe it doesn't work out for them. And now what they're doing is they're looking for a good paying job, they're looking for a partner in life, and they're creating a family, and they're contributing to their community. And they can't do that if we don't have high paying middle class jobs here in the United States. And those high paying middle class jobs come from large manufacturers. That's just the way it is. Okay, I watched those jobs go away in the 80s. And what I learned in college was that they went away not because corporations are greedy, while some are, but most of them are not. Most of them want to do what's right. They're filled with board members who want to contribute to their communities. You have lots of US manufacturers, facilities in the United States that break even at best. And the only reason they're in business is because they're being supported by offshore operations. They got plants in Mexico, they got plants in China, they got plants in South America, they got plants in Vietnam who are highly profitable, who are supporting the US operations. And they're employing Americans with those jobs. But we have to get back to a point where US operations are incredibly profitable. And the only way to do that is by teaching corporations how to do more with less, okay? And I have more than 20 years of experience watching organizations do it wrong, okay? And this is an example of how to do it wrong, which is what I'm writing up here. So adjust the org structure, start small, go big. Okay, a couple of years ago, Forbes wrote this article to executives.